and welcome to the post game show. I'm Coach Dick Cox, joined by Coach Barry Tony. Well, it's in that home stretch right now. Hornets doing what they need to do. They had the worst team in the NBA back to back games, the lowly Philadelphia 76 with only nine wins. But they went up there and took care of business, come back here, they did what they need to do, and have cut that magic number to one and probably will secure a playoff bid sometime tonight. Hey, you're absolutely right, Coach. And, uh, what I like about that, you know, Coach was talking about, you know, Philadelphia, even though they have, you know, they haven't won many games, they still, you know, very competitive and uh, that bunch didn't give up and that's a tribute to uh, their organization, Coach. And, you know, you asked me coming up here, you know, who are the guys to look for? That's that's what everybody wants to know. There, there are none. <laughs> that's the problem. But like you said, to their credit, they play hard. They get after it. They scrapped. And, you know, they hung around the night. They hung around yeah, absolutely. Yeah. where fans could not leave at halftime, could not leave and go home early there, though. But the bottom line was there was too much talent uh, on the Charlotte team, and they did what they needed to do. Picked up a win against a not a very good team. And, and you and I both know games like this, how many times have we seen teams play down to the level of the team they're playing that's bad and fool around and get beat? But the Hornets didn't do that. Hey, you're right there, Coach. So, you know, it, in that fourth quarter, they cut, they cut that lead to uh, four, on four points. But then uh, Kemba, you know, began to take off. You know, he ended up with 27 points. It seemed like when, when time goes like that, you got to have somebody step up, and uh, Walker certainly did. Well, when you got a team, too, like the – Philadelphia team. They shot 39 threes. Law averages, some of those are going to start going in. They, they made 10 out of 39 tonight, so they actually made three more threes than the Hornets did, though. But, you know, that three-point weapon gives you a chance. You know, if you get hot, you never know. Hey, you're absolutely right. I'll tell you what, like you said, because they were totally dependent on that three-point shot. When they're dropping, it's good, but when they're not, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough to score. Big key that we both noticed in the first half uh, being coaches, the Hornets did a great job of taking the ball to the basket. When they attacked the basket, good things happened tonight. Hey, you're right there, Coach. And look like good effort. I guess, you know, some of the, some of the people they have out, you know, are some of the big men, they just didn't have nobody that could really contest a lot of the shots inside that the Hornets took. They got three seven-footers on the disabled list right now. That makes a big difference, though. But, again, when you can go and do that and convert, uh, the Hornets had 54 points in the back, the, the back, the paint tonight, and on top of that, they had 25 five fast break points too. That's going to make it a little bit easier, also. Hey, you're right there, Coach. I, I tell you what, they, they took that 59 to 50 uh, halftime lead, and they, they pretty much uh, played even Steve in the second half. But uh, like uh, Coach was talking about, hey, a win's a win. And no matter who you're playing against, you're going to have to battle every night. The leading rebounder for the Hornets tonight was the smallest man on the team, Kimball Walker, with 11 rebounds. So that just kind of shows in, you know, a lot of people that may not know the game of basketball may say, how in the world does he do that? Well, when you've got a team putting up 39 threes, there's going to be a lot of long ones that come oh, out. There's going right. to be a lot of times the ball comes off there, though. But the Hornets in the first half got out-rebounded, but they bounced back and out-rebounded the 76ers 55-48. Right. You're, you're correct. Uh, like Coach Clifford mentioned about, you know, when you got somebody shooting a lot of threes, you're going to have that high rebound. Your inside people are going to be boxing out inside, so some of your uh, smaller people have opportunity to get some rebounds. Uh, again, tonight, too, and, and let's, let's give credit due to the 76ers. They played tonight and only had nine turnovers. So they did not give the, the Hornets a whole lot of opportunities to get the fast break going. But I think we go back to what we just said, the long rebound comes off, That's then right. you can yes, get your break right. going then. By shooting threes, the Hornets had a chance to get that long rebound going. Well, you're right there. And uh, Coach here in the coach's uh, interview at the end, what, I, I like picking up some things other than Nick knows. He's, he's talking about his uh, team, you know, got good chemistry. And they're in a situation where they're uh, beginning to believe in themselves and, and have a lot of confidence down the stretch. And, and now is the time for a professional team. If you're going to be in the playoff, and they start putting it together right now, just like the Hornets are certainly doing it. Well, you know, he talked, too, about the, how the attitudes change playing on the road. Well, the Hornets right now in a stretch where they could possibly be tied for the third seed at the end of the night tonight, depending on how the time played out. I know Atlanta was down by 14 at the half in their game, and in the third quarter they came back home. Cleveland actually took the lead there, though. But, you know, the thing is, this team's attitude has changed, and 
they're, they're learning how to win now, and they've got two big road games coming up. They've got to play Cleveland right. and Toronto, the number one and two seeds in the playoffs, both at their house this coming week. You're right, and uh, like, like Coach was talking about too in regards to expectations, they, they certainly want to make the playoffs, but you know they're in a situation now where they can finish pretty high and uh, you know, have some home games, which means a, an awful lot to them because you know the players really like playing here in Charlotte. Steve Clifford mentioned too, and I know you were taking notes. I was watching you. You were very yeah, studious yeah, tonight. I, I was taking copious notes. That's right there. But, you know, he talked right. about this was win number 28 for the Hornets at home. That's a major accomplishment. And talked about if you can win 30 at home and win 20 that's on right. the road, right. then that's considered a great season. And the Hornets have a chance to do both of those. Yeah, they absolutely do. But, uh, Coach, like you said, they, they got a tough, tough week next week, don't they? They sure on do. On the road. So it's winding down. March Madness may be in Houston this weekend, but NBA Madness was in Charlotte. A capacity crowd tonight, another sellout, 19,244 were here tonight, though. Hornets have two home games left, though. But again, this is going to be interesting. They can finish anywhere from two to two, um, excuse me, from three to six to see how this thing plays out. It looks like they're going to end up playing either a Miami, a Boston, or uh, I think who the other one is Miami, Boston, or Atlanta as a first round opponent, but it sure would be nice to have the home court advantage of Well, you're right, and I uh, like the coach Clifford they're talking about, you know, there's about three or four of those playoff teams where, you know, you could get involved in a blowout, but, but on the other, other hand, you're going to have a, a lot of teams playing each other where it's going to be uh, tough games, not going to have blowouts. Well, the Hornets get the win tonight, big <laughs> win here at home. Live from the Hive, your final score tonight was Charlotte 100 and the lowly 76ers 91. Charlotte now moves to 44 and 31 on the year, while Philadelphia goes to 9 and 67. That's correct. There. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, what, watching what's taking place here. Good thing to happen in Charlotte because this is just a fantastic city. You know, the Panthers playing the way they are in regards to uh, you know their playoffs going to Super Bowl and now. The Hornets, they don't have opportunity to advance by a distance. And we have been blessed to be a part of both of it. Hey, ab hey, absolutely. Look so forward to it. bringing you coverage of Charlotte Hornet playoff basketball coming to a city near you, which is Charlotte, North Carolina. He's Coach Tony. I'm Coach Cox. We'll be back with you later. Have a good weekend, everybody. Good evening.